All right, it's another day. Um, it's Friday, and I know I said in the other video I was gonna go back up to the shop and do stuff. That was for yesterday, Thursday. I didn't feel like going out of the house. Uh, if you can tell, my voice is a little different. <clears throat> I'm getting something, and yesterday I just I wasn't feeling good. So I uh, all they did was go, went out and fed. So. We're going to go out today, and it's actually colder today than it was yesterday. It's 7 degrees out. So, um, <clears throat> we're going to head out there and see what we can get into. I, I don't have a plan. I do need to get the straw and hay off my trailer. So, we'll do that. And maybe try to get that engine out of that chassis, because I would like to start getting some scrap rounded up to haul off. Um, because I have quite a few scrap bins in the barn that need to be emptied. So, we'll sort through that and try to get the best value out of it. I'm normally not like that. I normally just, uh, throw it all on a trailer and haul it in and get what I get. But, um, <clears throat> we're going to try doing some different things. So, we'll sort it out and clean it up and do whatever some of it's been sitting in my barn for about three years a guy gave it to me and i just it got put away in the back corner and never never taken off so we'll go out and mess around with that until casey gets off work we have to go somewhere i think she's talking about going um shopping tonight or something so i got the car warming up like i said it's seven degrees so and then I hear Sunday night into Monday morning, they're calling for two to four inches of snow. So that'll make a nice drive into work. If I go, I wanted to go deer hunting, but I don't know if I will or not because this coming weekend, the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th is deer muzzleloader season. So, And I always go for muzzleloader season, especially if there's snow, but I just don't know if I'll make it this year. Um, we'll see how I feel, but, who knows, so if I do go deer hunting, I'll get some video of that, but we'll let the car warm up for a couple more minutes, and uh, head on out there, and I'll catch you out there. Alright, so we're here at the farm, and probably all I'll be able to get done for the first portion of the video, and it might be all the video for the day, I don't know, we'll see how things go, but, uh, we're gonna get the hay and straw in here and uh, see what happens. And I'm trying to make quite a few videos before I go back to work because I want to try out this editor. And then once I go back to work, I won't have time to make many videos, especially if it's going to be cold. So um, just bear with me. But I want to try give this editor a good try. So there'll be some different things we'll be doing to put the editor to the test. So uh, just watching... JC's live stream. If you don't watch his channel, go watch it. Uh, he puts up live streams throughout the day, and uh, I always find it enjoyable to watch those. So <clears throat> that cuts some of my time down. So I'm only down to maybe half an hour now until I have to leave. So let's get this going. <laughs>
is that, huh? What is that? Does it taste good? Just look at the goats. They'll eat that straw before they'll eat that hay. Goofy animals. I used that old hay feeder to prop up my door the other day and I came back and the hay feeder was moved and the door was closed. No, nobody did that. Them goats. I'll tell you how goofy they are. They'll climb through that to scratch on it and then they'll get stuck in it and drag it around with them. And lock themselves out. I had a clip I kept in the hole of the door to keep it open and I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. It probably fell and got buried. So I'll have to come up with something else. I try to keep the door closed in the winter to block off some of the wind. I got the curtains down. I'm thinking I might open this curtain up a little bit. And that's what I did last winter because once it starts getting cold and I close it up, I don't know if you can see it, but there's um, frost on the roof there. Well, it starts to condensate and you walk in here and it starts raining and it's not good. So. Um, that's what I do for that. I'm thinking about taking this feeder out and putting the one that's in the barn in here. I don't know what to do with that one. I built that one because at one point I had like 22 goats and I needed a bigger feeder. Well, now I'm down to six and I don't need that big of a feeder. They just get in it and poop. It's mainly that one right there. Yeah, that big old heifer gets up in there. And by the way, that's Lily. She's like the pet goat. Um, my ag teacher, I bought her and some other goats from the ag teacher when I first got into goats. She's one of the uh, OGs, the original goats. And uh, a few years ago, his barn burnt. He lost his whole goat herd. And uh, that's, that's the only goat surviving from his goat herd. So I'm going to hang on to her forever. She's like a pet. Then that big brown one, that's Dorothy. She's like a pet too, and then her daughter's there next to her. And I like the way her daughter's built. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of kids Dorothy will throw this year. And then over there, there's a mother and daughter combo, I think. They look really good with their winter coat on. They look real meaty and bulky, which is good. So... I've debate, been debating on getting rid of the goats and starting over fresh, but they give me something to do. If I didn't have these, I'd never get out of the house. So, and if I did get rid of them, I'd keep the better looking, better looking ones. And right now, I'm actually happy with all of them, except the one that just looked at the camera. She was in the group to get bred this year, and if she doesn't uh, have kids, I'm going to get rid of her. And then probably just keep the ones I have left. I like the the group that I have going here, so. Not too bad. This spring we'll get video of putting the fence up. I plan on getting the fence put up. That's a goal for this year. And um, that'll give me freedom to go into some other other stuff. If I want to get cattle or something. They like to play. Okay, let's get on to something else. I'm expecting a call from Casey because she told me she would call when she gets closer. So that way I wouldn't forget. Because I'm prone to forgetting stuff. So, we got that unloaded. I could actually move this out back. We'll take a look at that truck frame and see what it's going to take to get it, get the engine out of it. This thing will start. I mentioned I was having problems with the cables, which... I just gotta tighten them. Oh man. That straight pipe. Alright, let's uh, move on here to something else. F-150's got a little bit of exhaust leak. I know where it's at too. The manifold's cracked in half on this side. right in the middle. But I don't 
don't know if that's exactly where it's leaking or not. You can hear it when it revs, and it's got a, a squeal. You can hear it every once in a while. But JC asked if this was aluminum flatbed. Yes, it is. It's an aluma. Aluminum flatbed. I went all the way to Illinois to get that. Because I got a heck of a deal on it. You'll, you'll never buy an aluminum bed as good as that one for what I paid for it. It was worth going out to Illinois for. And I actually thought I was going to Indiana. And it added two hours to the trip. So, whoops. But that's going on the Lodestar. And it's sitting in the... Eh, hold on a minute. Okay. It's sitting in the pasture because I had it on a hay wagon that I didn't like to use. And it was one of the those guys, that guy that I borrowed the hay wagons from, it was on one of them. So I had to take it off. Well, I took it off about where my truck's sitting, outside of the fence. And my excavator's not here to move it. It's easier to move with the excavator than it is the tractor. So it's sitting there. And when I get one of these hay wagons emptied, it'll go back on it. So, but I got a picture of it on the Lodestar. And I'll put that in this video if I remember because I don't think I've had a picture of it on there <clears throat> so anyways the truck chassis and this will be really easy to pull out it's that mount and all the hoses should be disconnected there's the two-speed wire we'll cut that we don't need that And that should be about it. And then the engine, we'll cut the exhaust off. And the engine just has a mount in the front. So them two bolts. And I could cut the rivets for the brackets, but we won't do that. We'll just take the bolts off. I'll probably just end up cutting everything with the torch. And then pull that sucker out take the bumper off it's got this cool hook on it it's not part of the bumper but we'll take that off I don't think any of that will work on my truck like I thought it would but we'll take it off anyways and then I need this nut if it's the same we're gonna try to take that nut off Ooh, and I'm gonna take them bump stops off because the one on my truck is gone and then the rest of it will go to the scrap yard. Take the tires off, because they're pretty good tires. I can't believe how good a shape they're in. Take them off, sell them. And he said the two-speed didn't work. But that's all right, because I don't need it. Um, I don't think I'll need the drive shaft, because i got to get a custom one made for mine. The truck's been stretched at one time. Or something so yeah that's uh, what we'll do there and when I go to do this I'll move it up closer to the barn I got to switch my torch around I'm gonna get this picked up took to the scrapyard that's aluminum and I just kind of shoved that into the truck or shoved the truck into that because I couldn't get the truck to steer the way I wanted to and it's it's too heavy for my tractor so I couldn't maneuver it the way I wanted to if I had an excavator. But. Is there even any gears in that thing? <laughs> that must be disconnected or something. Or it just shifts that smooth. I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. So I probably won't get on this project today. If I do, it'll be later. So I gotta figure out what to do now. So, catch you in a minute. Just look at that truck. Would you just look at it? 
That thing is beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So I decided I'm going to wait till next back. We can knock that truck out in no time. So that way I can drive the tractor and he can guide the engine. So I just got to figure out where I'm going to put that engine when I get it out. Thought about setting it on the back of the truck, but the suspension's not mounted yet. And I need to get that suspension put in there. Maybe we'll do that someday soon. That way I could at least move the truck around. You know, it'd be nice to pull it outside or something. It's, I'm pretty sure the axle's where it needs to be. I need to do some measuring. And I had that bed on here. Because i got to get the axle about right with the bed. Because that bed has a gooseneck hitch in it already. And I thought there was marks. There is marks. Right there's a mark. Right there's a mark. That's where them bolt holes should be. There's a mark there. That's where that should be. Uh oh, there's my call. And there's a mark. Here, I think that's where that should be. And then there's three marks here for that. So, that must have to. I don't know, it might be pitched funny to make it look like that, but. There were the marks. I don't have the marks on this side, I don't think. So, but I cut this piece out. That's supposed to be the back bumper. And that bed only comes down to like right here, so when I get it on there, I'll either taper the frame or something, so that way you can't see it. But I plan on putting a bumper pull hitch on this too. So, all right, I gotta answer this or she'll get mad at me. Catch you in a minute. Okay, so I gotta leave. Well, I gotta feed, and then I'm gonna leave, because I don't know if I'll, gee whiz, throwing you guys around. That's why I got the gimbal, for that reason exactly, and I'm not using it. I thought I would try recording all this on the GoPro, just because I need to use it, and it's easier on my phone then. So I gotta do that. I don't know if I'll be back tonight, that's why I'm feeding now, because who knows how long we'll stay out. And, um, yeah, so kind of wanting to do this now I can't make up my mind I'll probably wait for dad because he's he he's good with measurements and stuff I'm not the greatest with measurements and um, I know on this on these it's no maybe it's the other side no it was this side one of these sides you had to put these spacers behind you probably couldn't see the spacers anyways. But maybe it was... It was this side. Yeah, I don't remember. I need to make just another update video on this. And uh, since I got a lot more truck people here now, that might be able to help me. I don't know. Uh, we got JC now. I have a feeling you're going to be a big help, JC, on this project. This is this is a backyard build, but <clears throat> yeah, maybe I'll make a uh, a good video about what we're going to do with this truck and clean up around it, so you guys can see everything, and I can explain some of the stuff that I've had questions on for people, maybe, and just. Just an overall overview of it. I've didn't I've done one a while ago, but it was more of the story on the truck, and I didn't go in depth. Uh, maybe we'll try to go more in depth, <laughs> more in depth this time. I can get my book out that I've got that I filled out for it and whatnot. So yeah, we'll do that. But uh, if I don't come back out tonight, maybe I'll come back out tonight and just do this. Nick should be back tonight. We can have Nick over here. He can help out. But, uh, 
If I don't come back tonight, this will be the end of the video. So thanks for watching. And if I do come back tonight, that won't be the end of the video. So we shall see. See you later.